Hello and welcome everyone to Universe Sandbox. So we've got the community test 26.0 and this is pretty exciting because I've been waiting quite a while for this. Um, I wasn't aware there was a new community test. So I apparently it has new fragmentation and I'm super oh wow and they changed the UI quite a bit. Wow would you look at that. Uh, add. Ooh, this is interesting. I kind of liked it more when it was all in the middle next to each other. It's kind of weird having them to the side like that. Um, but let's see. That's not really what the game is about. It's not about loving the UI. It's, oh, everything is like on the opposite side. That is really odd. Generally, you look left to right. Because, you know, like when you read left to right. So it's a little bit weird having the controls like that on the right, but... Uh, that's that's all right. That's not what I want to see. I want to see the absolute collision quality. I mean, if they say that there is an update to fragments, then I trust that there will be a noticeable improvement. All right, are we ready? Are we ready? Oh, this is exciting. I'm very excited for this. Ooh, collision, and... Alright. Oh. Oh, that does look different. Oh, wow. Uh, the colors and everything look very different. Oh my god, look at that giant fragment. Okay, that's alright. Little bug. <laughs> Little bug, that's, that's okay. Unless that was supposed to happen. Oh, and then that one hit. Wow, the fragments look so much better now. They really do. Look at them. They don't stick out like a sore thumb anymore. They kind of look more, like, soft. Like, look at that. That looks... You know what I mean? The glow? Oh, that looks really good. I am actually very happy with how that looks. Alright, let's... Let's try something with a little bit more power to it, you know? Let's try a grazing shot. Because I want to know if it's easier to do... To make rings now. Like, that is... Oh, damn. Making rings is very challenging. Or at least was very challenging. Hitting something really fast from the side and hoping that it scatters the particles to make rings. Um, let's see if we can do it. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to obviously edit this a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't love the placement of the controls, I'll be honest. Um, I know that's not, like, the main thing in the game, though. Alright, let's go back, back, slow down time a bit. It says slow, it's slowing down the time step, but it doesn't actually seem to be. Oh, it's not showing what it actually is, it's showing what it was. Alright, and here we go. I, I'm really hoping that this looks awesome and leaves like a ring behind. I've always wanted to give Earth rings through one just beautiful collision. We got some damage on the other side of the Earth, which is kind of interesting. The fragments are going through the earth then, which is fine. We can expect a little bit of bugs on a non-official version. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. Look at the fragments coming out. Oh man, I'm really excited. Is this going to do what I'm hoping it does? Oh, wow. What is going on there? They're like all coming out of those spots still. The earth is peeing all over the place. Molten, molten lava, molten rock. And Mercury is throwing some stuff too. Ha! <laughs> yeah, a little bit interesting. Oh, so the fragments do look a million times better. I won't lie, the glowing fragments just, that looks so much cooler in every way. Uh, I absolutely love it. The physics behavior is a little bit wacky, but like I said, we can expect that when we're working on a uh, new release like this, or a new build, something that isn't quite public yet. They'll iron it all out, I'm hoping. 
Let's try Mars, see the kind of collision we get here. Trails and labels off, slow down the time a bit. And let's see. All right, oh, look at the glow. That looks so good. The new, the new coloration is so much better. Wow. No, that is, that is actually excellent. And the way the camera is handling the uh, different brightness, it looks much, much better. That doesn't look quite as good. What happened there? When, when it does the like blobification, that really does look terrible. But before then, it looked excellent. Oh no, my camera's all fuzzy. All right, I'll fix that. We'll be, oh, wow. We'll be right back. All right, we're all fixed. I'm kind of curious what will happen if we make things a little bit larger. So let's go ahead and grab my personal planet, my favorite one, where all of you live once you have subscribed. The one, the only, Spook Vooper. Oh, beautiful. Oh, we threw it. That's all right. It's all right if we threw it. Here's Spook Vooper. Oh god, in this update, it's just all ocean. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay, we'll have to decrease that a little bit. Oh, it doesn't look right at all. Excuse me. This isn't my planet. Is it because it's cold? Yes, it's probably because it's cold. Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. All right. That's not quite as terrible. Let's try adding a little bit of water back. Too much. Uh. No. Oh, that looks right. Okay, fantastic. Mostly water. Uh, still a little bit broken, but that's fine. Okay, now throwing in the other direction. Let's do another absolutely massive. Let's do the purple version of Spook Wooper. And let's see what the result is. I think it's coming this way. All right. So these are actually moving extremely quickly towards each other. So it's Universe Sandbox 2 to make it so that I can see what it's currently at and not just when I hit play. That that would be super helpful. Oh, and this one's also, where, where's the purple atmosphere? This is the spook pooper with the purple. Oh, there it is. Have to turn up the temperature. All right. Okay, let's see what the uh, collision looks like here. Okay. And we got that. Oh, it turned green. Oh, all the water dis. Oh, all right. Larger collision doesn't look nearly as good. Some really strange things are going on here. It's pink now. Oh man, look look at that. That is kind of kind of bad. <laughs> Won't lie. Does not scale well. All right, the effect does not scale well. Oh, what is going on? Interesting. And now it's it's vaporizing itself into non-existence. Isn't that nice? God, I wish I could do that sometimes. Uh, yes, it is a green blob now. Uranium. Alright, alright, we got... Th that's pretty interesting. <laughs> did, did not expect that. So it looks like this is working best with smaller planets. Uh, bigger things getting hit by smaller things, really. I bet if we use, like, Eris, it'll look even better. It seems like big things hitting big things just does not look good. You gotta have things that are kind of differently sized for the fragmentation to happen. Yeah, look at that. See, that looks way better. It didn't do anything super weird. Okay, now the logical conclusion is we have to throw lots of things at Earth. So that we can get the ultimate fragmentation. Oh, look at that. I mean, yes, there is definite graphical progress here, and things look much better in some respects, but there are, <laughs> there are definitely some buggy bits with this. I will not lie. 
We are looking at some things that just don't look very good. I mean, the particles themselves, I wonder why they didn't just change the particles, how they look, and just keep everything else the same. Although at some point I know they're planning on doing some pretty radical things to like make it so that when an object gets hit it acts like a fluid and can get ripped apart and stuff. So hopefully it's all a part of that and we're getting closer to that because I'm very excited for that. Oh, one thing I haven't tested, um, Rosh Limit probably looks really damn neat. I always do that. I, gosh darn it. Okay, let's see. Let's get Earth close enough to Jupiter that the tidal forces rip it apart. See how it looks. Uh, Earth? That, that's not a round orbit. What are you doing? And it doesn't seem like you're being ripped apart either. Alright, let's just do a black hole. That's easier. It's easier to rip things apart with a black hole. Alright. One solar mass black hole, basically sun right there, just much smaller and not as bright. And then Earth. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that, that fragmentation looks really good. I don't know, the fragments just look, they look softer, they look more real. The color, they've got kind of variations in color. Before they just all kind of looked the same shade of gray and they were very boring, very boring. So this this really does breathe some life into it. Um, it's like Earth will just survive forever, just eating its own, eating its own parts when they get ripped off and then thrown back into it. Let's speed things up. More! Oh no, it's definitely shrinking. Oh, look at that. Fruit Loop. Forbidden Fruit Loop. I mean, eating the Earth would be kind of neat. Could make a YouTube video about it. Get real popular. Alright, so... Fragmentation. Yes. It looks quite cool, I won't lie, and it's certainly better. Uh, other things look a little odd, I won't lie. We're, we're having some interesting situations. Um, but, you know, overall looks really damn cool, much better than it looked before just have to pray how do I can I not just get the radius oh well anyways as I was saying I am really 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 hoping that those little bugs and stuff can get ironed out because honestly this looks fan flipping tastic I mean, if I could actually get it like this, look at that. That is just absolute beauty. I mean, ignoring the fact that this isn't actually stable. Um, this is honestly how the fragment should have looked when the game came out. But hey, better late than never. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. And if you don't subscribe, you'll become like all these particles. Whee! Oh, that looked really neat. <laughs> oh, all right. Peace out. Oh, don't forget to become a channel member because that's a thing now. You get coolness next to your name. Very nice.